Some parents are pushing for charges after a leaked police report suggests a Fenton High School staff member may have had a sexual relationship with a female student. They say the school district mishandled the allegations and covered them up. WGN's Sean Lewis has the latest from Bensonville. Well, good evening. Tonight there is another protest, this time here at the Bensonville Police Department by these parents who are calling on the department to submit the results of their months-long investigation to the DuPage County State's Attorney for possible charges against this high school teacher who tonight remains on leave. Even as students arrived to Fenton High School in Bensonville on Monday, a small band of parents gathered outside calling on administrators to resign. We need answers and we need action. Last week, what appears to be a lengthy Bensonville police report leaked online. The report appears to show an active investigation into allegations that an employee had sexual relations with at least one female student. While the police investigation began last October, some of the allegations mentioned in the report date back more than 10 years. This was a breach and it's a breach of trust over years. It's not a one time occurrence. Some here, like Chris McCullough, say administrators from Fenton and District 100 need to step down, believing they try to cover up those allegations. It is very troubling and our children should not be expected to be in an environment that is unsafe and we're failing them. The leaked report, some 42 pages long, tells of anonymous tips to the district that led then to the police investigation last fall, detailing an alleged sexual relationship between that employee and a student nearly 10 years ago and ongoing contact between the two as recently as spring of 2023. My gut feeling tells me they've known about this for years. There are staff members in the police report who have reported this numerous times. For parents, it's about transparency and not knowing of these allegations as soon as they came to light. We let our kids go to school here with the understanding that they will take care of our children. They are taking over the role of our parental guardianship while they're at school. I want to know that I can trust them. And in a letter that was sent out to parents over the weekend, the district said in part, the alleged inappropriate conduct we reported to police may have occurred several years ago. As difficult and stressful as it may be in the moment, teaching and learning is still the primary function of our school and we are committed to continuing our mission even during these trying times. Now DCFS confirmed for us this afternoon that it received two complaints since Friday about these allegations and they are now investigating the next district 100 school board meeting is taking place next Wednesday night. These parents say they are going to be there prepared with many questions in Bensonville tonight. Sean Lewis WGN News.